there. <laughs> it is June 20th, 2019, and I'm here to do our no communication separation reading for Twin Flame Collective. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. So first, let's go ahead and see what is the current overall energy of the Divine Masculine, okay, I'm assuming, or Divine Partner, okay, who you are not in communication with at this time, okay, so no communication, little communication, recently separated, been separated, <laughs> Don't know nothing about your partner reading. What is their current energy? What is the current energy of your current partner? We have indecision, okay? So, again, I think we had this last week. Um, you know, your divine partner is at a crossroads in making a decision towards this connection, okay? That is what I'm seeing. And here we have the number eight. I feel like, you know, they're working towards something, okay? They're working towards making a decision because I really feel like in the past, you know, since they were still in that indecision period, I feel like now, um, you know, they're coming to some sort of conclusion or perhaps, you know, they haven't made a choice in the physical, but they have like deep within, okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting. And here we have deceit, okay? And uh, this is a number 25, which e equals a 7, you know? I really feel like, you know, your divine partner was deceitful in the past. They were not really uh, giving in to their emotions. They are holding back their truth, is what I'm feeling. And um, this person is very secretive. You know, I really feel like it has something to do with money, okay? The reasons why that your divine person is holding back is because of finances is what I'm feeling, okay? And they were not really revealing that truth. They were holding on to some stability or security, okay? So, let me go ahead and read from the book what this deceit means, okay? Hidden Tactics Manipulation This card comes as a warning as there could be some deception going on in your life. The person hiding behind the curtain is... Likely someone you know or deal with either personally or professionally. The duplicity could be regarding a personal issue, like someone spreading rumors or disrespecting you to others, or it could be a business matter where details are being hidden or even manipulated. Be aware of what is going on in your life. The man behind the curtain is holding a bag of something valuable, so watch your money and your good name and make sure you have all the information you need to keep things honest and secure. A deep layer of meaning may be that the deception is actually coming from within. Is there something that you're lying to yourself about? In this case, the bag of valuables may be holding things like self-esteem, happiness, and even leisure time. 
whether it's about your life or yourself, remember that the universe has a hard time sending you honoring experiences if your energy is shrouded in self-deceit. Okay, so, you know, I mean, your divine partner, okay, could embody this sort of energy where, you know, they're talking down about you in front of their friends, their family, you know, like not even regarding this connection with you is what I'm feeling. They're putting up a, a false mask, okay? Now, if your person hasn't been spreading, you know, bad rumors about you, you know, this could be, you know, within themselves. You know, it's like they're lying to themselves about this connection, okay? And I really feel like for this particular individual, they really need to heal themselves, okay? They have some issues uh, with possibly trust, um, you know, being reliable, you know, and when somebody embodies those energies, you know, that means that that is, those are the things that they have to work on, on their own, okay? So, this is very interesting. That is why they're not making a decision towards this connection, because I just feel like this person is in denial still, okay? So, with that being said, let me go ahead and see what additional things that your person needs to work on in their life, okay? Now, I mean, this could not be for everyone, okay? But, you know, if your person is not being deceitful, you know, uh, about you towards other people. I really feel like your person is really deceiving themselves about this connection. That is why they're not reaching out, okay? That is what I'm saying. But I honestly feel deep down inside that your person still has healing work to do, okay? I seriously know this. Because <laughs> if they're coming off like that, that is not a person of high vibration, okay? They still need work to do. How teachable are you? Hmm. <laughs> this is a number nine. What I'm feeling is that your person, okay, is possibly stubborn, okay, and, uh, you know, even if you, you know, gave them some advice in the past, let's say, they probably, you know, just shrugged it off and said whatever, you know, that is the feeling I'm getting. They're very arrogant, you know, maybe conceited, <clears throat> you know, possibly pushed you away, didn't even regard, you know, your word as truth is what I'm feeling. Okay, and do you see that this person is just sitting there like, you know, like, you know, they're acting all pure and innocent in that white garment, but really, you know, they just, they don't want to grow, they don't want to learn, they don't want to expand their horizons is what I'm feeling, okay? So, let me go ahead and read from the book about, um, uh, how teachable are you, okay? Because... I don't think they're open for that. And that was a block. Are you open to learning new things in your life? How high is your desire to let go of judgment, doubt, negativity, and self-sabotage? What are some of your favorite things to do? Is it to watch TV, go shopping, play golf, drink, gossip with your friends? Are you willing to give up those things in order to create time to learn something new? Are you sick and tired of being tired and sick? What is your willingness to really apply what you learn? You might be learning many new things, but be resistant to change. Every time you think, I already know this, I've heard this before, this doesn't apply to me, your ability to learn diminishes enormously, and it is to the point you may become virtually unteachable without realizing it. What did I say? Like, I know, I know. <laughs> Unless you apply what you learned into your life, you really don't know it. This card is beckoning you to not only be open-minded, but to take specific action towards change. Okay. Um, 
your person okay is a know-it-all okay that is the feeling that i'm getting here you know that is why they're coming in with this deceit okay like you know they're probably saying no you know this person is you know whatever you know probably some bad words guys okay i can only imagine and really putting you down in front of their friends and family you know but you know deep down inside they're at an indecision okay it's like they're lying to themselves it's like in front of their friends and family you know um you know they're bashing you bad mouthing about you you know and all this and that but deep down inside they they love you okay they still hold space for you and this is crazy because this is very toxic behavior okay so like i said this isn't for all divine masculines who are not in communication okay i feel like it's you know a small percentage of you guys okay that's what i'm seeing and here we have inner child again like i said this person has a lot of healing work to do okay i still feel like they're a little immature very arrogant okay thinking that they know everything and they really don't okay because their ego is so like inflated okay that is what i'm feeling and they're acting very childish too you know they need to work on their inner child stop acting like a kid okay and grow up and be a, an adult is what i'm feeling yeah this person's making me testy <laughs> So that is what I'm saying, you know, with your person. All right. So let's go ahead and find out what is going on in the 3D life of your divine person. Okay. You know, they're at an indecision about reaching out, either choosing this connection or moving another way. But right now, in the public eye or possibly, you know, within themselves, they don't want to change. They're very stubborn, very arrogant, very egotistical, okay? And they're still acting very childish, okay, is what I'm seeing. They're very confused, you know? They're almost at the end of getting out of this, but they still have work to do is what I'm seeing. So what is going on in the 3D life of your time partner? We have sudden wealth, okay? So they possibly, you know, uh, have received some money, okay? Or a job or, or something positive in their life, okay? And I see here number 11, you know? So far, you know, I really feel like your person is feeling detached from this connection. And, you know, if money was an issue, because I did see it here with this deceit card, do you see this gentleman is holding like coins in, in his hand, okay? It feels like they got quick money, okay? And they're like, no, I don't need my twin. You know, I don't need to be spiritual. I got my quick fix. I got my money. I just landed like this unexpected income is what I'm feeling. And honestly, guys, this person is feeling really smug and immature i feel like it's you know they got lucky recently and if 777 is a significant towards you then this reading might be for you okay also we have here imprisonment okay so this is what i'm getting your person okay could be stuck in a karmic situation okay and they're feeling really stuck and trapped okay again i see here in the number 29 which equals an 11 okay so we have 11 11 guys all right what i'm feeling with your person is that if they're stuck in a karmic situation maybe they had uh some extra income okay and uh they saw that okay financially it's better to stick with the karmic because finances are rolling in finally okay and to those people to their karmics okay they're probably uh 
you know, saying, no, I'm not going back to that person. You're, you're wrong. You know, uh, I'm going to stay with you, you know, you know, towards the karmic and, um, trying to reassure the karmic that there's nothing going on between you and your divine counterpart. Okay. That is how sneaky and deceitful I feel about this person. Like, I really don't like this person's energy, guys. I really don't like he's, he or she's pissing me off. <laughs> And um, it's very low vibrational, guys, okay? Very low vibrational. Like, I haven't picked up this kind of energy in a long time, actually. And I'm honestly surprised that it's coming up here for a general reading. So I'm really feeling that somebody out there really needs to hear this message, okay? It's very specific. And here we have Wealthy Man, okay? Yeah, so that's what I'm feeling. I feel like... This divine person, okay, um, really wants to hold back because if they were married or if they were in a karmic situation with the family, they're holding back because now they see that financially it's just better to stay with the karmic situation, okay, because um, they feel stuck in it, okay? They feel like they cannot break free from that situation and they're on lockdown, guys, okay? That is what I'm seeing. You know, I feel like for them, money rings, you know, it's like, it's like flashing in their eyes. It's like the devil, okay, that is pulling your divine mask on away from this connection, you know, because of some outside influence, okay? I feel like the devil is really working on your divine other, like that whatever energy is very strong, Okay, I really feel that, and it's so sad, guys. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Ugh, whatever. Okay, so, what is the energy, okay, of your divine partner towards you, okay? We see what's going on in their physical life, okay? And they're acting conceited, okay? Probably stuck up, um possibly like an asshole, you know, being deceitful, um, just not being true to themselves, okay, it's very toxic, that is what I'm feeling, right. so what is their energy towards you, okay, what is the energy towards you, what is your divine partner's energy towards you, you know, this person could be living a double life, you know, two-faced is what I'm feeling. Here we have crown chakra, okay, so your divine masculine's crown is activated, okay, like they see the connection, the spiritual connection between you two, but right now their 3D physical life is really strong, guys, okay, I really see that, so I really hope it gets better. And here we have accelerated motion. I really feel like, you know, they are moving forward, okay? Now, you know, in their 3D life, there's wealth and a wealthy man surrounded by this entrapment, okay? They are stuck in a money situation, okay? That is what I'm feeling. This person needs help. They need to get out of their their old way of thinking is what I'm feeling. That is why this crown chakra is activated, you know. And honestly, guys, I feel like this is divine masculine over here, okay? So, divine feminines, okay? Here, divine masculine's crown chakra is activated, okay? And I really feel like it's because of you. Because your vibration okay it is you know emanating okay like uh these positive energies okay so there's a little bit that is reaching your divine masculine okay while your your masculine is involved in their 3d life going through this uh situation they still have like received downloads okay through telepathy is what i'm feeling about this connection and i see here with accelerated motion okay they see this connection, okay? They still think about you. 
They are still wishing upon a star, possibly wishing that they can get out of this, okay? You know, like I said, your person is two-faced. To the karmic, okay, they're one way. To you, they're a different way. And it flip-flops, okay? That is what I'm seeing about this person. But what I'm seeing is that more than anything, they want to communicate to you quickly, okay? That is their desire, is what I'm seeing. You know, I don't know what kind of truth they want to reveal. That is why the first card that wants to show up is this indecision, okay? They're not sure which direction to go because they're stuck in their 3D way of life, okay? They're still clinging on to this financial stability, okay? This money situation is what I'm feeling. And here we have rest and rejuvenate, okay? They are really thinking, okay, they're resting, they're probably sleeping, they don't know what to do. They really need to meditate, to be honest. They need to go out in nature, ground themselves, clear their minds, okay, and really hone in and see what is really truly important to them. Yes, money is important, but it will be provided to them, okay? They don't need to hold on to a situation that they don't want to be in because it's easy, Okay, if it's easy, guess what? Other attachments come along with that easy money. Okay, that's how the devil works. Okay, so that is what I'm feeling about your person. I just wish that oh, I feel like they're regressing a little bit, but still, they, they have that spiritual awakening, but it's very dim. Okay, that's what I'm seeing with your person today. All right, so. Let me go ahead and pull uh, some messages that your divine partner would like to communicate with you. Because I do see that they want to communicate, okay? I do uh, see, like, uh, fast action, okay? And, you know, hopefully they're going to be receiving some downloads, okay, through their crown chakra. And receive some sort of enlightenment with this rest and rejuvenation. Okay. This person is. They need clarity. Okay. It's like they need another tower moment. And I feel this is karmic. Okay. Definitely karmic. I'm always on guard because I don't know how you'll react when I speak my truth. Please be open to what I have to say. Guys, I can't make this stuff up. Do you see this? They are always on guard because they don't know how you will react, okay, when they speak their truth. So please be open to what they have to say. What they say might not be on the up and up, okay? They might tell you, okay, that they had stuck with a karmic situation because, you know, financially, you know, it made sense. They probably said, well, you know, I still have uh, some feelings towards their ex, you know, or their wife if they were married still, like in a partnership. They were lying to themselves, okay? They were lying because they were with that connection because of the, the stability. Do you see all this red? Yeah. They were lying, okay? And I know that it could be hurtful and it wasn't on the up and up, but they weren't actually embodying their highest and greatest, you know, good, okay? That's what I'm seeing here, guys. I never stopped loving you, okay? They never stop loving you. That is why there is this indecision. It's like, which path do I take? Do I take the spiritual path? Do I take the path of the past? Okay, that is what I'm feeling. And, um, you know, obviously, they're stuck in the past, you know, and they know they need to move on. They just need to have that strength and clarity to do it, okay? Grab their balls and go with it. Or their, you know, poo nanny. <laughs> and here we have, you make me happy. You really make them happy, okay? They, you know, they really think about you in that way. 
you know, and I feel like this person doesn't feel very good about their decisions, about being deceitful, being dishonest, okay, you know, acting like, you know, um, they know everything, okay, like a know-it-all, you know, it's like, you can't tell me what to do, you know, that sort of energy, and being very defensive, okay, but deep down inside, they never stop loving you, what did I say from the very beginning, you know, I just feel like this person is stuck in a facade, okay, and they were telling their karmics, you know, what they wanted to hear, but deep down inside, they still have, like, this love for you, okay, that is what I'm seeing. It is hard to admit that I was wrong, okay, it is hard for them to admit they're wrong, why? <laughs> they were deceitful, okay, they're really deceitful, guys. You know, honestly, I feel like this behavior, you know, is because they really needed to work on their inner child. This goes way back, guys. Like, back when they were children. Back when, how they were raised, okay? And not having maybe the financial support from their parents. Maybe they were the ones that were supporting, you know, uh, themselves, you know, as children. You know, also, they probably grew up fast when they were younger, okay, trying to be an adult and never got to experience this childhood, okay? And if your person has children, that is what they wanted to give their children, you know? But, guys, happiness comes from the head of the household, okay? You have to be happy as a parent, Okay, if you have children, if you don't, then how can your children truly be happy? You know, you can amass wealth and give them all the things that, that you never had as a child. But what what if, you know, you're out there trying to be, you know, super mom or super dad, right? And you're not happy. You're just doing these things that you think that makes your children happy. But your children are very intuitive and they can see right through you, Okay. Children are very observant and they're very innocent and they can see what is going on. You cannot fool children. I mean, you can, but they have this intuition too, okay? Just saying. I hope you understand my position. I'm just going through a lot, okay? That is why your person is being deceitful. Because they're going through a lot, okay? Yes, you know, their nasty little attitude, you know, <laughs> is right there with it. But, you know, this is what, you know, they want to express to you. You know, they're going through a lot in the current circumstance. That is why they have chosen this karmic situation, is what I'm feeling. It's all because of their finances, guys. Okay, about being st stable in their life. That is why they haven't made, you know, um... A final decision I still feel like you know your divine person still has hope because I definitely see that they want to communicate with you okay you know they're, they're receiving downloads that they should okay they need to let you know what is going on in their life okay even though it's not on the up and up you know I just feel like you know this person deep down inside because they are a divine counterpart okay you know, they're here, you know, to, you know, raise their vibration, not be stuck in this low vibration. So this shows me that your person is still working on their karma. Okay. All right. One more. I just need some space and time. Please don't take this personally. I love you. What did I say? You know, I really feel like your person is not ready to make a choice yet. You know, the option is still there. They're still thinking about you, but now is not the time. I really feel like they have to go through their karmic lessons, okay? So these are for those who are in no communication you haven't heard from your divine partner, okay? And they're going through their karma right now, okay? But just know that they still love you deep down inside, okay? That feeling has never really went away, but right now, you know, they're putting up a show, okay? 
that is what I'm feeling guys and they don't feel really good about it deep down inside and on the outside they might show off like they're testy and very nasty and you know very egotistical you know and very prideful guys because like they are hurt their inner child they need to work on their inner child guys okay so that is what I'm seeing all right so let's go ahead and see what is the future potential outcome, okay, of your person that you are not in communication with, okay? I mean, I still feel like they still need some time to work on themselves, okay? Like, honestly, you know, very few of you may receive communication, but I don't think it's going to pan out. They're, they're stuck on karma land. <laughs> You know, still in that karmic situation is what I'm feeling for this group of people here, you know. And this may not resonate for everyone who are in no communication, okay? Um, but, you know, bits and pieces could resonate with you. But this is very specific, you know, for a small percentage of you out there, I feel. You know, because I can see this very clearly. This is somebody's situation, okay? So somebody who's watching this on my channel really needs to hear this. We have the High Priestess, okay? So, you know, this is what I'm feeling, you know, in the future. I really see that, you know, this could be Divine Feminines, okay, and this could be Divine Masculines, but I feel like it's more Divine Feminine. Divine Feminines are very intuitive, you know, they know, you know, everything. Obviously, if you're watching this video, <laughs> you've got a tip, but what I'm feeling is that you intuitively know what your Divine Partner is going through, okay? You have, like, this understanding. You know, even if there is no communication with your person or if they're not revealing their full truths, okay, you know that there's something going on. There is definitely something going on with the karmic situation. This could be a job or this, to me, it feels like a spouse or an ex-spouse, okay? And it has to do with money, okay, and stability and um their attitude has got to go, okay? They need to work on themselves. This is very nasty, like you know, behavior is what I'm feeling. I don't like it. <clears throat> and they're not on the up and up. I feel like they've kind of descended a little bit. But, you know, Divine Feminines, you kind of know intuitively what's going on, okay? And here we have King of Swords, okay? I really feel that your Divine Person might come out with their truth. So, you already know that this this is coming, okay? And I do see here accelerated motion. That means communication coming in very quickly, okay? So like I said, some of you might receive communication, but, you know, I really feel like your person is very stubborn, okay? But I do see here in the future, okay, this person will reach out and communicate effectively their truth, okay? And... I still feel like, you know, they're still holding back a little bit, okay? Because if you can see, you know, they haven't really taken their cloak off, okay? Their eyes are kind of down, okay? And you're possibly dealing with, you know, a divine other who has long blonde hair or blonde hair and blue eyes, okay? That is what I'm seeing. Um, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Um, and I really see that even if they're coming out with their truth, they're still not revealing everything because their sword is down, okay? Their sword is down, and I feel that Divine Feminines know this, okay? So they know that their Divine Masculine still isn't expressing their full truth about them or their situation, but at least they're coming in with some clarity, okay? That is what I'm feeling. And here we have a seven of pentacles, okay? It's all about, like, this balance, okay? All about working. And I really see that there's some black swans in this picture. You know, I feel called to read this particular one because I'm very curious. 
and it has a red slipper, okay? So let me see what that's all about. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Back to Swan Lake. I've worked hard in my body and flesh to get where I am today. It took time. I knew it would. But it bore fruit. Yes, it did. Look at my red ballet shoe. Look at my tiara. I am acclaimed on the world stage. Hard working pays off. It always does. Remember that. If you've worked hard on something, reward will come. Be sure of that. Stay focused, concentrated. Keep a long-term view. Right now, I'm taking a break. I'm back at my Swan Lake among my own people, but the break won't take long. Soon, hard work will, will start again, and I won't stop until my tiara becomes a crown. So the key words here is hard work, patience, long-term view, rewards to come, focus, and concentration. So, you know, this is what I'm getting, guys. You know, your person, okay, is choosing to stay stuck in their karmic situation, okay, because they feel like it's probably the best thing to do while they are working at their job or working on a new job, you know, to build up their security or their finances, okay. Until then, you know, they're letting you know that they're looking at the long term. The the current circumstance or situation that they're in is temporary, okay? They're just in it for a little bit, trying to assess, like, what they need to do. Because, you know, I really feel like, you know, they're like, well, how teachable are you? They It seems like they know it all, right? They got their own plan. You know, they feel like their plan is, is the way to go. But if they haven't communicated this to you, then how in the heck are you supposed to know, all right? And I really feel like your person thinks that you are this high priestess, okay? Like, they feel like, you know, you're all-knowing, you know. If you are intuitive, then you should figure out that, you know, your person is actually working on themselves. It's not that they want to be stuck in that situation, but, you know... They're working on a plan. They're working on, you know, releasing this karmic situation in due time. But now is not the right time, is what I'm feeling, okay? And their truth, you know, that's why they're not coming out with their truth, like with their hood off, you know? Because they, they still want to keep things, some things a secret, you know? It's like they don't want to be revealing too much. That is why I feel like your person is being deceitful okay they might come off in one way but really they are another way and I really feel like they're trying to be deceitful in front of their you know karmic but also show this to you and it hurts you more than anything I get it this is not a good way of showing how much someone cares about you because if anything that's going to make you feel hurt and push you away but your person okay has like this inner knowing that you guys are always together and it's so fucked up i'm sorry guys you know that way of thinking but this person uh, person should at least communicate to you okay about their plan of action that is what I'm seeing, guys. They're keeping it all to themselves. They're not letting their karmic know. They're not letting you know, is what I'm feeling. Okay? Oh, my goodness. See, I knew. This person thinks they, they have it all together. But, hey, communication counts, right? It's like we can't use our telepathy and know about, like, the situation. Like, talk. Open your mouth. You know, you talked bad about, you know, the divine feminine, is what I'm seeing here. But why can't you talk to your divine partner, okay? It's like you can talk to the karmic about it, but not your divine partner. You know, your divine partner deserves that much at least, you know. Like, oh my goodness, guys. All right. And then we have here three of pentacles, okay? They are working on the situation is what I'm feeling here. And I feel that your person is being hopeful, you know. <laughs> I feel called to read this one, too, because now, um, you know, because this person is looking up, they're in the cathedral, okay, I feel like there's still hope in this situation, so let me go ahead and read what this one says, too.
Okay. Let's build together. I am a builder, a creator, a worker. I've studied a lot, and so I have precise ideas to concrete ambitious goals to achieve. I hold in my hands the tools to build my dream and create beauty. I won't fall short of my task. I'll use my skills in the best way. Be my disciple. With me, work hard to accomplish your dream. Be persistent and determined. Don't laze around. Ask for advice if needed. Collaboration often helps. The only thing that matters is to get the job done and well done up to your initial vision. Cathedrals were not built with faith and hope, but with sweat and hard work. So let's start the work now. We will succeed. Keywords, concreting in the material world, skills, endurance, effort, and teamwork. You know, your person wants to build an empire, okay? They know that they have built something faulty in the past, okay? I feel like, you know, they're making their exit plan from their karmic situation, okay? But right now, they're putting up a facade, okay? They have an ulterior motive, okay? And, and they're trying to build up their finances so that they can get away from this karmic situation so that they can build a something new with you okay they know that now is not the time to do it because because financially they're not able that is why in their 3d life they are stuck okay because they have just accumulated sudden wealth okay and they're feeling you know pretty uh financially stable in their current circumstance okay and it's really messed up, but, I mean, that is your, your person's uh, mental thinking at this point. I really feel like your person really needs to reach out, okay? I mean, I feel that your person feels that you know about the situation without them telling you, okay? That is the messed up part, you know? It's like they expect you to know, you know? <laughs> and it's like, no... You really need to open your mouth and, and tell that person is what I'm feeling, okay? So, I mean, that's what I'm seeing so far, guys, okay? So, like I said, this isn't for everyone, but it's definitely for, for someone out there who's watching my channel, okay? And there could be bits and pieces that may res resonate with your situation, alright? So, I'm going to go ahead and close out this reading with a guidance card, okay? And see what is it that we need to surrender to in this now moment okay right now we just really need to work on ourselves okay that's what i'm seeing i see that your divine counterpart is choosing to work on them okay and i see divine feminines are really you know they don't have a choice but to work on themselves anyway you know and what i'm feeling is that your divine masculine sees that you are in this highlight okay like you are doing really well for yourself and they feel like you know you're self-sufficient and while you are in your glory working on you they feel like they need to work on them okay that is the feeling that i'm getting from this person and they are still stuck in whatever situation that they're in and um they just need to they, they need work guys okay they really do but i really feel like you should be receiving some sort of quick communication okay but this communication could be about like what their motives are what they've been doing um but i don't think they're they're coming back to reconnect just yet okay um i really feel like they're working on themselves uh, financially before they can leave this karmic situation before they can move forward towards a connection okay surrender to your wisdom of your body listen to your body's messages about a person or situation if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you're energized and happy move forward that is the guidance guys okay so if you feel drained or uncomfortable okay be cautious Move away from the connection, okay? Now is not the time to connect. Now, if you are energized and feeling happy, move forward with the connection, okay? Now is the time, you know, to take that, that next step, okay, with your divine counterpart. So surrender to the wisdom of your body. And I see that, you know, that this is that crown chakra activation, okay? Like meditate. And I see it here, and I see it here. Okay, and it's both surrounded by this accelerated motion, this Eight of Wands energy. Okay, so this is all dealing with communication. 
So it's telepathic communication, thinking about it, okay, and possibly communicating. But, like, in the future potential outcome, we have here the High Priestess, okay? So definitely telepathic communication. But some physical communication would be nice, okay? Like, we're not all mind readers, okay? It would be nice if we had some physical contact, right? Whether it being a text message, an email, you know, a phone call, something, you know? That is what I'm seeing. All right. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. This is what I'm feeling about Divine Masculines. They are going through this right now, okay? They are deceiving themselves, okay? That is why they are at an indecision, okay? They need to let go of their limiting beliefs, all right? And not only that, they have to work on their inner child. This person has a lot of work to do, guys, okay? Uh, honestly, I mean, give them that time. They need to grow up, okay? They still have some learning lessons to do, okay? Like, the way that they're going about doing things, yes, um, you know, it's not on the up and up, but... I feel like, you know, with them acting in that way and them dealing with their karma because of finances, it's karmic, okay? They have to learn their lesson. Don't interfere with their, you know, learning process is what I'm feeling. They need to go through their karma and end the cycle, okay? If they don't break this cycle... History repeats itself until they get it, okay? They have to break free from it, and that is what I'm seeing. All right, guys? So I really hope uh, this reading was helpful. Uh, thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And today, we are looking at a Divine Masculine who is not making a decision about the connection towards their Divine Feminine. And I see that is because they're being deceitful, okay? This person has a lot of healing work to do, a lot, okay? And um, they just need to really raise their vibration, take a break and meditate and really, you know, hone into their spirituality, okay? I feel like this person is clouded by their karmic situations right now, okay? And um, I do see that you really do make them happy, okay? And they're on guard, you know, because they know that the truth may hurt. Okay, and they never stop loving you. And it's really hard for this person to admit that they were wrong. And they hope that you understand their position. They're just going through a lot. It's like, yeah, I understand your position. Okay, like, you do you. Okay, like, at this point, let it go, Divine Feminines. Okay, that is what I'm feeling. Let them work on, on their own karma. Okay, you've already, you know, extended um, your expertise, your wisdom, and your knowledge okay let them relish in that okay because their ego is still like this okay that is what i'm seeing but i do see that you know there there could be some communication coming through and they just need some space and time and don't take it personally because they really do love you okay i really do see that this person possibly expects you to know this <laughs> Because they, they feel that you are very intuitive, okay? Without the communication aspect, and yes, as Twin Flames, yes, we do have that telepathy, but it would be nice if there was some sort of communication, okay? Like, let us know, like, what your intentions are, okay? So that is what I'm feeling, and um, they just need to be honest, guys. They need to stop being deceitful, is what I'm feeling. I mean, deceiving their karmic is one thing, but to their divine feminine, no, okay, not if they want this uh, relationship to happen in the future, because I definitely feel that your person is planning to come back together with you, okay, for a long term. I definitely see that, and they're going about it in a different way, okay, to, to get to this point. And they really want to work with you in the future, okay, they want to come together, they want to work with you, they're just working on their karma, all right, so... If you would like to book a private reading, you can reach me on my website. It is www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.